To reduce landfill waste and continue to be a leader in sustainability, the City of Edina will roll out a residential organics recycling program this spring. Edina TV's Jay Ness brings us more on the program. Today, there are countless ways to participate in conservation. The act of recycling has existed for decades, but that doesn't mean it can't be taken a step further. For the city of Edina, the key to a healthier and green future may lie in organics recycling. So the state of Minnesota did a study on our landfills, and our landfills are overcapacitated with like all the stuff that we're putting into it. And what we're finding is that about a quarter of what we're throwing away right now can actually be composted. Determined to reshape the way Edina thinks about recycling, Twyla Singh is the community's new organics recycling coordinator. She's heading a collection program and encouraging residents to reroute food scraps into an organics recycling cart. I think my main role here is to make sure that this program runs as efficiently and as effectively as possible, which means listening to feedback, making sure that everybody's needs are met. Which is a good thing, as residents cannot opt out of the cart. The fact that it's mandatory is not a word that a lot of people, especially in America, like to hear. And not all of us are going to do it right, not all of us are going to do it perfectly, but it's really important that we try. Close to 1,000 Edina residents are already composting, and they're doing it well. Leading by example is former chair of the Energy and Environment Commission, Diane Plunkett Latham. And it's very cost effective too, so uh, it's a win-win situation. Diane says it's gratifying to see a system that started more than a decade ago going mainstream in Hennepin County. As to whether or not this constitutes a change, in some sense it is not a change because many of these things you were just putting in your trash anyhow. Diane moved to Edina in 1998 and, as a gardener, has always believed in composting. But it wasn't easy for the city to find a hauler who felt the same. And I especially want to thank Gary Vierkant because the Energy and Environment Commission went to all of our haulers in the city at that time. None of the others would even listen to us. And because the community is treading in unfamiliar territory, Singh wants to assure the program is working. That was really important to me. Um, I'm a project manager in background, and so the very first question I asked was, how are we going to measure progress? What does success look like in this program? With VeerCamp, what we're going to do is measure participation rates and contamination rates, two fairly easy things for us to get data on in this program. So we will be looking at um, what percentage of bins get picked up that have like dirty diapers in them or pet waste in them, which are things that you should not be putting in your organics bin. Learning to separate organics from trash starts with creating new habits in the kitchen. Now you're just putting the same things in just a different bin. And creating a greener future for Edina in the process. I'm Jay Ness, Edina TV. Carts will be distributed to homes in April. Residents will see the charge for the program on their utility bills beginning in May.